got another exam question on the redox titrations topic and as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay so we'll make a start so a bit of a practical skills question to start with so we've got to suggest or explain why the students use this really low concentration potassium manganate 7 compared to the usual one. So if you think about the titra it's pretty small to start with so if they'd used the, the normal concentration, they would have only got a titer of 1.35 centimetres cubed, and that would have had a, a very large percentage error um, in, the, in the answer. So by using a lower concentration of the potassium manganate 7, they've got a larger titer, and that would have a lower percentage error in it. Okay, so we'll move on to the calculations. We've got one of my trusty diagrams to help me explain what's going on. So they've taken two tablets, that's the sort of formula of the chemical in the tablet. The iron 2 has obviously gone to Fe2 plus aqueous when the sulfuric acid's gone in. So in there we've got Fe2 plus and H plus ions. That's gone into a 250 cm cubed volumetric flask. They've taken out 25 cm cubed, so a tenth effectively. And then they've carried out the titration with this sort of lower concentration KMNO4 and the mean titra is 13.5 centimetres cubed. So first thing we'll do is work out the moles of MNO4 minus used in the titration, concentration times volume in decimetres cubed, 2.70 times 10 to the minus 5. So applying the mole ratio, the moles of Fe2 plus in the 25 cm cubed used in the titration is just the moles of MNO4 minus times 5, so we get that many. So we'll multiply by 10 to get the moles of Fe2 plus that are in the 250 cm cubed volumetric flask. Uh, so that gives us 1.35 times 10 to the minus 3. But just remember, where have they come from? They've come from that, and therefore the two tablets. So that is also the moles of Fe2 plus in the two tablets. So now we can work out the mass of the iron 2 gluconate in the two tablets, which is the moles times the MR, we get that many grams. So we just half that to get the mass in one tablet. We're still in grams. We've got to put it into milligrams. So we just multiply by a thousand and the three significant figures, it's 301 milligrams.